Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I'm here today to do an open box video for the Boxy Charm, if I can say that, Boxy Charm subscription service. This is my September box. So I'm gonna start by doing a review of the products that I got in my August box, so you can see what I thought of those, and then I will be opening my new Boxy Charm box um, that I haven't opened yet. I've just slipped the tape on it. So I haven't seen anything that's in there at this point. Um, so um, in case you're not familiar with it, BoxyCharm is a beauty subscription service that comes once a month. It is $21 a month and that includes shipping and each box includes five full-sized products. Um, I've really enjoyed getting BoxyCharm. I started getting, um, I got my first one in June. And so I've really enjoyed it. I, I, what I really like is, um, that rather than some subscription services that send samples, because they're full-size products, I get a chance to really try them out and see what I think of them. Because some of them I use once or twice and I'm not really sure what I think of them or I think I'm not terribly crazy about them. But then when I add them into my beauty routine and all that kind of stuff, then I realize that I start liking them more. So, um, so let me go ahead and show you what I got in my August box and I'll start with, should I start with? I'll start with this one. Um, this is a bronzer that's by Ofra, O-F-R-A, and um, it's called Americano Bronzer. You can see that it is a full-size product here. Um, it's a nice bronzer. It, it, um, you put it on with a brush. It didn't come with a puff or anything in there. Um, I'm not a big bronzer user and so, um, I guess it was fine. I used it, and um, and it, it it was fine. It looked pretty, and um, anyway, it was a nice nice color. It matched my skin tone nicely. It's not even going to show up if I put it on my hand and try to show you. But anyway, this was good. Um, would I buy this again? Well, I don't know because in another um, subscription service box that I get, um, I got another bronzer as well. And so since I don't use bronzer very often, these are probably going to last me a really long time. So the next one that I got was this um, brush by um, uh, Morph, M-O-R-P-H-E, is that what it was? Or is that just the name of the brush? Yeah, that was the company, S19 is the brush. This is a, um, a powder brush. Um, I love this thing, I, I've been using it every single day. The bristles are so soft and um, it has, it's got, nice thick um a thick amount i guess i would say of um of bristles um but it's fluffy enough that it you know is good for putting on powder so um so i really did like this one um the next one i got was another Ofra product um and it was a it's an eyeliner let's see if i can show this to you um, so it's by Afra, and it's an eyeliner that is in the shade Grapeful. Grape is in the fruit, Grapeful. Um, it's kind of a bluish, purplish color. Let me put it on the wrong side. You're not going to be able to see that. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Kind of a bluish, purplish color. Um, they, um, it's a... Um, water resistant formula. I was really excited about that and it seems to go on like a creamy kind of a um, kind of a formula but this was really interesting when I used it and put it in the water line of my eyes and the tight line it didn't really show up very much. It doesn't color that inside skin very well and so I'm trying to get it off my hand here um, but um, so what I ended up doing with it was I would put on, I would take black um, eyeliner, another formula that I had, and put it in the waterline and tight line on my eyes. Then I go ahead and put on my eyeshadow. And after I finish, I always take my eyeliner again and then put it on the top um, of my lashes and underneath the bottom lashes. And so that's where I used this. Um, I'm not exactly sure if you can see, yeah, you probably can't even see it. I'll close my eyes. Um, it just, I guess that when I put it on, I can see that there is a tint of a, a, a color other than black, but I'm not sure that it's really noticeable as being a, a different 
color than just black. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I've been really excited lately about trying eyeliners that are in different colors, and so this one just didn't really do a lot for me. I'm still gonna use it because, it, you know, it might as well. Um, kind of looks like black, so I might as well use that. So, um, yeah, the next one was a Torina Tarantino product. It is a moisturizing lip sheen. Cutest package ever, seriously. I mean, look at this. It's got little gems on there. It's so cute. Um, and um, the, the color that I, I'm, I'm wearing it right now, but it's not the color, if you saw my August video, it's not the color I got in my box. My mother also gets BoxyCharm, and so um, she had gotten hers and said that the color she got was too dark for her, and I actually felt like the color I got was too light for me. So the one I had originally gotten was in the color Showroom and um, really, really, really light, soft, subtle pink. This one is in the color Floriculture and um, it's kind of a purpley color. And um, let's see, yeah, so you can see that there. Kind of a purpley color and it's on my lips now so you can probably see that. But um, but anyway, so I do like this. It says it's a moisturizing lip sheen, and it really is nice, creamy, moisturizing. Um, it is kind of, this particular shade is kind of dark, and you know, as you can see, my skin is, is pretty light, and so I have to make sure that I don't just pull it out of my purse and put it on. I have to look in the mirror to make sure I don't have too much. The last one um, is this uh, Model Co product. It's a cheek and lip stain in rosy red. And um, this one scared me at first um, because it, I mean, it says it's a cheek and lip stain, and it is. When I first opened it up in my last video and um, then I tried to rub it off my fingers, it had stained the end of my fingers. I'd even like kind of licked them and tried to get it off and it wouldn't come off. It does come off with soap. Um, and I don't know how this is coming through on the video, but looking in my viewfinder, it looks like my cheeks are really, really bright with this stuff today. But um, I did try it on my lips first because I was nervous about putting it on my cheeks and having it st stain my skin. Um, oh, you know what? I showed you the wrong side of... This is how the bottle looks on the front. But anyway, so... Um, so I tried it on my lips and it doesn't, it's not like a lipstick, it's not anything, it doesn't feel creamy or soft, it almost felt a little bit drying to me. And the one thing I really didn't like, because I was kind of thinking, oh this would be good, I put it on my lips and then put lipstick or gloss or whatever over it. And then if I happen to, you know, drink some coffee or, um, or eat lunch or something like that, that if my lipstick comes off, then the stain would still be on my lips. And I thought that that would be really great. Except what happened was this stain really grabbed onto the lines in my lips. Um, of course, I have more of those lines in my lips now that I'm older. Um, and so, and also I get some little dry patchy things. I've talked about how lip products make my lips shred. And this didn't really do that, but I'd already had some little patchy dry parts on my skin and it grabbed onto that dry skin and just made that stand out more than the stain in the other places. So um, I was just thinking, oh bummer, this is gonna be really bad, you know, and I'm just not gonna use this full size product. Um, but I decided to be brave and put it on my cheeks. <laughs> and at first I applied it with my finger and of course it stained the end of my finger. It does wash off with soap though, so you can be assured that if you put it on your face, it does wash off. Um, but what I really had success with was putting it on with a brush. You need just the littlest, littlest amount. I put it on a little stipple brush and then just kind of, um, you know, moved it around. It's better to start with, um, with a really small amount and build up more um, if, if you feel you need more because a little goes a long way with this. And it's very, um, how do I describe it? It's a, it's a really fine liquid formula. So it's not like a, a, a little like cream or pasty or anything like that. It spreads really, really easily. So you just start with a little bit. Um, I've been using this, I've, I really avoided using this. 
um, but I decided that for the sake of this video that I was going to start using it every day in the last week, which I have. And you know, I'm really liking it. And one of the things that I like about it is that um, it, because it's a, a cheek stain, it stays on all day. So I put this on at about seven o'clock this morning. It's, um, it's about quarter to two right now, so not a full day. But as you can see, I, I still have, you know, it still shows up. So, um, so I'm, I'm gonna keep using this and you never know. You know, I think it's, it's um, kind of the, the beauty of, these, um, of a subscription box that has full size products because um, if I had just used this once or twice and then I was out of a sample, I probably would have just said, eh, you know, I don't think I'll get this again. But, um, but because I have, you know, I have a whole tube of it and I've been exper experimenting with it because I didn't want to waste it, um, I, I'm, I don't know, might be liking this a little bit. So, so anyway, those were the five products that were in the August box. And now I have the September box comes in a box like this, um, and when you open it up, let's see here, hold it up for you. It's got a card in there, and then um, with a little welcome greeting, and then it's got information um, about each product on the back, and I know I'm gonna need my glasses for this. Um, so let me read the, the message, which is written a little bit bigger, so I don't need my glasses for that, but it says, Fashion Week Fabulous. Have you ever dreamed of working it on the runway? We have. Tis the season for Fashion Weeks everywhere and checking out all the glitz and glamour of celebs and socialites attending the shows, wearing the latest fashions and, support, and sporting the best in beauty. In this box, we are giving you your own front row ticket to runway beauty with a ton of products that will have you strutting in no time. Okay, so that's it. And then, um, and then, like I said, on the back, it has the names of each product, of each product, and also a description and how you use them, which is really nice because sometimes I get things and I think, what the heck? I don't even know what to do with this. So um, we have on top here um, a coupon for 20% off of a Tarte product. And um, so, so there's probably a Tarte product in here. And then this is um, another coupon just for you from Name Necklace. And it's get 10% off all personalized jewelry. So um, mynamenecklace.com. Oh, that's what it is, my name necklace. So mynamenecklace.com and it has a 10% off coupon, so. Okay, so let's start with the first one on the list, which is a Tarte product called Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss. And I don't know, it's hard to see which is the front of this box, but um, this is the box. And then, remember these are um, full-size products. And so this one is in, let's see what shade it's in. Does it say? Exposed. So exposed is the color and it looks like this. And, um, and it says on here, um, inspired by Tarte's award-winning lip tints, this glossy, ultra-hydrating addition to the lip surgeon's family will, per will perfect your pout with brightening pop of color and lasting shine. And it says, wear alone for medium coverage and shine or over your favorite lip surgeon's lip tint for more intense color. Let's open this up. Looks kind of brownish. Well, it's a, it's a gloss, so it's kind of hard to put on here. So let's see if you can see this. So just kind of a, um, a real mild, subtle kind of a gloss color. I can see that working well over lots of different kinds of things. Kind of sticky. 
I don't know. We'll have to see how that it's kind of st <laughs> sticky. Now my hands are all sticky. But anyway, okay, so that's the first one. And that's a full-size product that is um, that retails for $19. So let's see what we have next. Um, okay, this one is a nail lacquer by NCLA. And the full-size product is $16. It's very light color. Um, and it is in the color Catwalk, Catwalk Queen. It's a tongue twister. So, um, so let's see what it says about this. NCLA luxury nail lacquers are made in LA with the highest quality ingredients and are never tested on animals. The five free nail lacquers, the five free, five dash free, five free nail lacquers are high shine, quick dry, and chip resistant. So apply two coats of our lux luxurious formula for a perfectly smooth application. Hmm. So yeah, this is really, it's very beigey. Um, yeah, very beigey. I don't know if you can see that there, but that'll be interesting. I've been wearing brighter colors, you know, all summer, so um, so but that'll be a neat one to try. So we've got some neutral tones going on here so far. And the next one I have is another Tarina Tarantino product. I think I've gotten Tarina Tarantino in every single BoxyCharm box that I've gotten so far. And um, so that is the box and it is, um, what is it? Oh, it's a mascara, Fleur de Lash Mascara. Trina Tarantino has the cutest packages on their stuff, if I could get them out. So there we go with that really pretty kind of pewter colored packaging on there. So that's the mascara and then, um, the full size retails for $19. Nice long wand on a really thick spoolie. Can you see that? So I'm kind of picky about mascaras since I have gotten older. My eyelashes have gotten kind of thin and, um, and so I, I like stuff that adds volume to them. And I was using a L'Oreal mascara for a long time and um, I liked that one a lot and I was really hesitant to try any other, but then I uh, discovered the Revlon Bold Lacquer Mascara, which I've been using every day since I got my first bottle in June, or my first tube in June, and I love it. So it'll be interesting to see what this one is like. Um, let me go ahead and read what it says so we can find out what's unique about it. And it says, um, a superior formulation that thickens and lengthens for maximum volume lashes in a sleek limited edition gunmetal tube. Um, when applying mascara, use the shimmy technique. Hold the wand horizontally at the base of the lashes and then slowly apply with a slight left to right motion as your brush goes upwards. So I guess that's what they mean. So... Um, so yeah, full size product is $19. It's really going to have to wow me if it's going to change my mind because that Revlon Bold Lacquer that I like so much is, um, well, it said that it retailed for $7.99 on the card that I got from BoxyCharm in June. Um, I had, I saw it at Walgreens for $6.99 and then I was at Target and I saw it and it was not for sale. I mean, it was not on sale and it was $4.99, so, and this is $19.99, so we'll, we'll see. If it's amazing, then, you know, you never know. You might get it. So let's see what else we have here. This is called Go Palette in Beijing. So it, um, I'm not sure what kind of palette it is. So let's let me read what it says before I take it out of the box. I was thinking it was an eyeshadow palette, but transport yourself to exotic de destinations of color with these palettes inspired by the most colorful cities around the world. Get inspired with these 12 complementary colors and create the perfect runway look. Well, I still don't know what it is. Probably eyeshadow, I'm guessing. 
but it sort of looked like possibly lipsticks or something. Okay. So this is this is what the package looks like. And then it is Yep, it's eyeshadow. So this is pretty. Look at those. Look at all those shades in there. You see that? Um, oops, I guess you didn't need to uh, I guess you didn't need to look in the mirror there, but there are the shades. Um, yeah, let me um There's a lot of them here to swatch. But so far, what I'm seeing is that they all seem to be matte, which will make me very happy. So here's a few of them. Can you see that? That I put on, on there. Um, they all look like they're matte. Did it say that? No, it didn't. But they are, they do all look like they're very, um, complementary colors and so um, yeah I'm excited because so often I get palettes that have shimmer eyeshadows in them and I just don't wear those very often I can get away with them on the very bottom lid but it just makes my eye eyelids look old when I do that so I'm actually really excited about this and I'm leaving on a trip soon and I might, I don't know, I'll try it out before I go, but I might take this with me and it might be kind of fun. So, okay, so there is one more product and it's, an, it's um, oh my gosh, oh, oh, I'm so, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so it's another Harvey Prince. There was, hard, I've gotten some Harvey Prince um, samples, I think in Birchbox perfumes and there was one that I got in a, I don't know if it was Birchbox or what, but it was um, a Harvey Prince cologne called Hello. Um, in my last Birchbox, I got another Harvey Prince called, I think it's called Ageless. Oh my gosh, that was so nice. It had a real uh, citrusy kind of a smell to it. But Hello, I had tried in the past and thought it was really great, and then I just didn't buy it. It's kind of expensive, and, and so um, this is, Hello, I'm so excited. And it's a full size, it's one of their smaller, they, they come in, they have different sizes of this. Um, but this is a, a full size product and it retails for $29. And hold this up for you so you can see. Um, and let me read what it says. Did it just leak on me? I hope not. Um, make sure that's tight. Okay, it says, um, the scent that greets you with a smile, with notes of Meyer lemon, white grapefruit, Satsuma mandarin. Um, so anyway, it, this one has that kind of citrusy smell too. It's different from that ageless one that I had, so let's see. Okay, so let's put some on here. It's been a while since I've used this. Oh, yeah, you know these have to kind of settle on your skin a little bit before you um, get the actual fragrance. This is so nice. I really like this and I'm very excited about it. I almost bought this a couple of weeks ago, so I'm glad I didn't because here it is in my BoxyCharm box. So anyway, um, yeah, so in this box, um, I got an eyeshadow palette, and by the way, that palette has 12 different matte shades. It appears they're matte. So I got an eyeshadow palette, full size obviously, um, some cologne, mascara, a nail polish, and a lip gloss. And this was $21, um, including, and that includes shipping. And let's look at this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Uh, it's over $80, over $80 worth of stuff. And it's $21 and shipping's included in that $21. So, so this is really cool and I'm excited about this box, really excited. So, um, so anyway, what I will do, if you're interested in checking out BoxyCharm, of course you can go 
to boxycharm.com. Um, I'm gonna put a, a referral link below if you wanna just go check it out um, from, from my link that I'll, I'll put below. I'm also going to put up on my blog post, which is busybeingjen.com. Um, I'll put each of these and um, the information about them and um, so if you're interested in checking that out and learning a little bit more information, if, um, this is especially helpful if you're trying to uh, make a decision about whether you want to um, subscribe to BoxyCharm. So I've really loved it. This is my June, July, August, September 4th box. I have loved uh, so many of the products. Some of them I think I'm not gonna love and then I start trying them and, um, and they're just wonderful. So I've been really, really excited with the subscription service and I'm definitely going to keep using it. Um, my mom will be getting her second box here pretty soon and we always compare our boxes because they're not exactly the same. Sometimes you get a product that's um, that, like the same but in a different shade. Sometimes, um, one, well with this one, with the um, bronzer that I got, my mom got a bronzer as well but it was from a different company and a different kind so, so we like to kind of compare and see. But, um, but I'll go ahead and put these up so that you can take a look. Uh, for more information on that. So anyway, I will be back in October. I can't believe that we're in October. Well, we're not in October, but I can't believe that that's the next month coming up after this one. And so, um, and I will share with you my review of these products and the open box for October's box. So I hope you'll join me for that um, to be notified about when I upload new videos, which is about twice a week. I would just encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little button there. Um, and anyway, so I, I just thank you for watching and hope I'll see you again on Busy Being Jen. Bye-bye.